You guys are about to enter into a video where you're gonna learn what the best noise reduction software is for DaVinci Resolve for any kind of vocals. This tool, I, let's get into it. What's happening guys? You ever run into this problem? You got some background noise. I got my tractor running back here. Well, I found a plugin that is the best that I've ever found for DaVinci Resolve that removes background noise. If I turn it on, check it out. Now it's on and it just takes that noise right out of there. I didn't stop the video here. It's just full recording here and the tractor's still going. If I turn it off, here's what it sounds like. The tractor's still going. If I turn it back on, check that out. I'm amazed at how good this thing works. I'm gonna show you a few other examples and then I'm gonna show you what the tool is, show you how it works. And it might be something that you're interested in because it is the best. That's right, the best background noise reduction plugin that I've seen for DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Hey, right, better yet, what if I'm on the tractor, not mowing, but I got it going, it's pretty loud. I mean, that's why I'm kind of yelling a little bit. But will this tool take out that background noise? Let's see what we got. Here it is with the background noise tool applied, the Clarity VX from Waves. This plugin is awesome. All right, guys, we're back in the studio. So what is the plugin that I found that is just awesome at removing background noise and isolating your voice? It's the Clarity VX and Clarity VX Pro plugins by Waves. This video is not sponsored by Waves. I'm not getting paid to make this video or to talk about their plugins. I am set up as an affiliate. So if you do go and buy any of the plugins using the link in the description below, I do get a little commission on that, kind of like an Amazon affiliate, same type of thing. I just want to share this with you guys because this plugin is phenomenal. And if you don't know who Waves is, real quick, they just make a lot of plugins for audio stuff, primarily in the music world, in the music area for different kinds of DAWs and things like that when you're mixing and mastering music. But those things can be applied here in DaVinci Resolve as well. And I haven't seen really anybody talking about using the Waves plugins in DaVinci Resolve. So I reached out to waves and I said hey I think your guys stuff is awesome I've seen a lot about it in the music world what about we bring that into DaVinci Resolve I think it can work and sure enough it does work and just off the bat too none of the plugins are free this one is on sale for 38 39 dollars totally worth every penny the pro version is going to run you 249 dollars but the 38 dollar version does an awesome job and probably for most of you that's all that you need so i'm going to show you the plugin show you how it works real quick it's super easy and then i've got a whole bunch of examples of different situations where this plugin does an awesome job and it's different situations that you guys might be in like traffic uh, maybe you got people in the background talking, maybe you got wind noise, maybe you're using your GoPro and you got that wind noise you want to deal with. So I got a whole bunch of examples. I'll timestamp all of them so you can go through and check out which ones you want. But first, let's jump into Resolve. I'm just going to show you the plugin and how it works and then we'll get into the examples. So I'm throwing my headphones so I can hear what's going on. So let's get into Resolve here and take a look at this effect. So in order to add this effect onto a track, which is what I want to do in this case, you want to come to the Fairlight tab, so make sure you're in Fairlight. You want to open up your mixer. So here's your mixer right here. Then you want to go to the track that you want to apply this effect to. You have effects right here. If you don't see that, for some reason, click on the three dots. You've got effects right here. You want to make sure that that's checked on. So I'm not going to show you how to install the plugin in this video, but if you want to see that, comment below. I can make a video on how to get these plugins installed, but I'm not going to talk about that. It's already installed. I just want to show you how it works. So effects, I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to come down to Restoration VST, and here I have Clarity VX Pro Stereo and Clarity VX. So I'm going to go with the VX one, which is the $39 one. I want you guys to see that. So it's going to bring up the effect, and this is what it looks like. And literally, it's one dial. This is the dial right here. The farther up you crank it, the more it's going to reduce that background noise. Now, there are a few options here. You've got two different types of neural networks that you can use to analyze your clip. If you just hover over it, it's going to tell you what they do. The broad one here is better for keeping voice detail and secondary speech. And if I click on it, we have Broad 2, which is better for severe ambience and keeps mostly voices that are close to the microphone, which if you're vlogging or filming yourself or maybe you're in your studio, you got some background noise, this might be a good option for you. For the analysis type, you can use Single, which sums up the right and left channels and just analyzes it together. Or if you want to analyze your right and left channel separately, click on this and it's going to say Double. And you can see down the bottom there, it's just going to analyze them both separately and process it that way. I find Single works out fine for me in almost every situation. Then you have width here. So width is how wide does the sound sound in your headphones? Does it sound like it's around you? Or does it sound just like narrow straight coming for you? But essentially you can leave all these at their default. There's even some presets up here. You click the little preset. You can try out some of those if you want. But really all you're doing is grabbing this dial, listening to your clip and cranking it up. So let's listen to the tractor clip in the beginning here. And I'm gonna crank up this dial and you can just hear the difference. 
Here's what it sounds like. What's happening, guys? You ever run into this problem? You got some background noise. I got my tractor running back here. Well, I found a plug-in that is the best that I've ever found for DaVinci Resolve. What? That's crazy, dude. Crazy. Crazy. And you're going to see in all these other examples I've got how well this tool works. Let, let, let me just do that again. Let me do that again. Here's me driving the tractor. I'm going to turn on this tool and you tell me, tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Hey, better yet, what if I'm on the tractor, not mowing, but I got it going. It's pretty loud. I mean, that's why I'm kind of yelling a little bit. But will this tool take out that background noise? Let's what? see what we got. What? That's insane. Tell me that's not crazy, right? This is by far the best noise removal plugin that I've seen for DaVinci Resolve at this point. It's better than any of the tools that are built into Resolve, and it's better than the other plugins that I've tried as well. One of the things that I do notice is that there's not a lot of artifacts and weird distorted sound to it. Now, you don't always have to crank it all the way up to 100. You can leave it at, you know, 50%, 25%. Maybe you just want to lower that background noise a little bit. You don't want to completely remove it. It's one dial. It really doesn't get any easier than this. And this plugin is just fantastic. And real quick, just to show you what the pro version looks like, check this out. I'm going to delete this off our track here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in the pro version, restoration, the VST, and the pro. So the pro version basically gives you more options on how you can control what is being removed versus what is not. So if you just look at it real quick, down here, you have your main dial, kind of like in the simpler version. You can adjust the effect so that you're only pulling out the voice and you get rid of the background noise, or you can go with only the ambience. Maybe you just need some uh, background noise. You're in the city filming. You can get just the ambience. So if I play through here, I'm going to reset this to zero. Check it out. Hey, better yet, what if I'm on the tractor, not mowing, but I got it going. It's pretty loud. I mean, that's why I'm kind of yelling a little bit. But will this tool take out that background noise? I, I, I'm blown away. This thing is so good. And making this a little bigger in the Clarity VX Pro, we do have some advanced controls where you can control the different frequencies. You can, uh, again, change the type of neural network. You have three options here instead of just the two like we do in the uh, more basic Clarity VX effect. You can change your, your analysis to single and double, change the sensitivity. You can add in some reflections, which means a little bit of that original audio, kind of like mixing them back together a little bit. You have the ability to do that in the advanced version here. You can change the processing amount so I can raise and lower the amount that's getting processed. You can also adjust the gate. So when is that background noise going to cut out completely? You've got the option to adjust that right here. And you can also adjust your levels a little bit on the end over here, as well as the width, similar to how you can in Clarity VX. Now, just because Clarity VX is a lot cheaper than the Pro version doesn't mean it's not as good. This thing is fantastic. So now that you saw what this effect is and how easy it is to use it, literally a dial, let's go through all these examples. I'm going to timestamp them all. Check them out. Comment down below with what you think. Does it sound good to you? Is it the best that you've heard? Do you know something better? There might be better ones or other good ones out there. Comment below so we can help each other out and just really get rid of that background noise. All right, let's roll into those examples and I will see you at the end of this video. All right, so check this out. Here's another sample. We got the wind. It's blowing right into the microphone here. I don't have an expensive microphone on here. This is a fairly budget microphone. We've got some wind coming in. You should be able to hear that. So now if we throw on this effect, this plug in here, the Clarity VX from Waves, Here's what we got. Do you hear any noise in there? Do you hear any wind noise, any background noise, anything like that? We're gonna have some more samples coming up. So stay tuned, I wanna hear your comments. What do you think? Can you hear it? Does it sound good? Does it not? Let me know what you think, comment below. All right, here's another example. We got a pretty windy area here. You can see the flag blowing up over there. And this is what it sounds like if we turn on the Clarity VX. I think it's gonna do a pretty good job cutting out that wind noise and just hearing my voice. Here's if we turn it off. You can hear the wind if I even turn into the wind a little more. Now it's blowing into the microphone. How's it doing in cutting out that wind noise and just getting my voice through? All right, let's go see if we can find some traffic and uh, get some traffic in the background. I'm sure you guys film where it's a little noisy like that. Let's so check it out. All right, here's another example for you. Same microphone, inexpensive microphone. I'm out here, there's a little bit of wind. There's actually not any wind right now, but there is somebody riding a scooter around. I don't know who it is, but they're going in circles and they're making noise. So let's see if the Clarity VX plugin can get rid of that noise and just make my voice be clear. So this is what it sounds like when it's turned on. We've got the scooter riding by. I almost got hit there. Did you guys see that? I almost got hit. So, so uh, let's see what the Clarity VX could do here. All right, here's another sample that we got. We got some cars passing here on the road. I'm gonna try and find a busier road, but here's what it sounds like without the Clarity VX turned on. And then I'm gonna go back and play it again 
with the Clarity VX turned on. But here's what it sounds like without the Clarity VX turned on. And then I'm gonna go back and play it again with the Clarity VX turned on. So let's turn it on now too, see how it sounds. Here's another example. We got a little more traffic going on, actually same spot as yesterday. We got some wind noise, got some traffic. This is with Clarity VX turned on. Is it gonna take those cars out? And can we hear me clear without any cars in the background? You can even dial it back a little bit so you can hear a few cars, which might work out good. You want a little bit of background noise, maybe. I don't know, maybe you don't, but here's what it sounds like with it all the way cranked up and just hearing my voice, hopefully, and blocking out those cars. All right, let's get to the next example. All right, here we are. We're next to an air conditioner here. You should be able to hear this. This guy's loud, okay? It's uh, it's an air conditioner, right? So if we turn on the Clarity VX, here's what it sounds like. Does it make my voice clear? Does it get rid of the air conditioner? You tell me what it sound like on your end. Comment down below. Yo, we're in Hornet country. Not only a little windy. I got a motorcycle off in the distance. We're in Hornet country. Let's get out of here. By the way, how does the Clarity VX sound on this? So here's another example for you. Maybe you're out on the street, you're filming an interview, filming something on the street, and you're gonna have noise and people going by. That's what it sounds like without the Clarity VX. But let's roll the tape back and play it again and turn on the Clarity VX and see how well it sounds. Let me know what you think, comment down below. So here's another example for you. Maybe you're out on the street, you're filming an interview, filming something on the street, and you're gonna have noise and people going by. That's what it sounds like without the Clarity VX. But let's roll the tape back and play it again and turn on the Clarity VX and see how well it sounds. Let me know what you think, comment down below. Let's say maybe you are outside in the jungle, you're trying to film some cool animals or something going on, and you got critters in the background making crazy noises like that. Well, let's see if the Clarity VX can get rid of that so that you can only hear me and what we're talking about. Let's roll the tape back, roll it back. Let's say maybe you are outside in the jungle, you're trying to film some cool animals or something going on, and you got critters in the background making crazy noises like that. Well, let's see if the Clarity VX can get rid of that so that you can only hear me and what we're talking about. Let's roll the tape back, roll it back. Here's another good example for you. I got machines working in the background here. They're pretty loud. They're busting up some concrete and I got to build some warehouses. So this is what it sounds like without the Clarity VX turned on. And now I'm going to turn it on and show you how it isolates my voice. I am using a microphone that's a little bit better. So hopefully that kind of helps too, because obviously the quality of your equipment makes a difference. So this is with Clarity VX turned on. And this is what it sounds like. I think you can get rid of all that construction noise back there. I think so. All right, let's get on to the next example. Here's one for you. Anybody who's used a GoPro knows you got wind noise in the GoPro, right? So if I turn on Clarity VX, here's what it sounds like right now. Going, what am I going, 10, 12 miles an hour, something like that. Here's what it sounds like if we use the Clarity VX on GoPro footage. I'm cruising into the wind here. So we all deal with that if you use a GoPro. Lots of wind noise, lots of wind noise. How's it sound? Comment down below. In the last and final example here, we got some music playing in the background. Hear it? Let me go ahead and turn on Clarity VX right now, and we're going to see if it can get rid of that music in the background. Now it's still playing. Same video. Let me turn it off. And let's go ahead and turn it back on. Can it pick out just my voice and get rid of that background music? Now that is huge because I know a lot of people always want to remove background music if it's in a video and maybe they don't want it there. So that's how it works here. What do you think? Comment below. So that is the Clarity VX plugin here from Waves. Waves has a ton of awesome stuff. There's a link in the description below. You can go check out this plugin as well as the pro version if you're interested in that. Check it out. Hey, maybe it's something that you're interested in and for 40 bucks, not even 40 bucks, for the Clarity VX one, dude, you, you can't go wrong if you need some high quality noise reduction in your videos. And they are always running in sales so if you're looking to get it and it's not on sale because none of these are cheap man yeah but they do run sales a lot so keep an eye open for any sales that might be going on and like i said in the beginning right now as of the filming of this video it's like 39 dollars for the clarity vx so if you have questions comment down below i'm happy to answer your questions talk more about this plugin the details of it or anything else that you might want to know about when it comes to removing background noise here in davinci resolve but really, since we are now opened up to all of these Waves plugins, that is a huge game changer here in DaVinci Resolve because these plugins are awesome. I'm gonna be talking about more of them as I get into it a little bit more. I'm trying out different ones to really help your audio. It kind of really just simplifies things for you because not only are these plugins awesome, but they make it easy for you. They're just a few sliders, knobs, dials, things like that. You may not need to know the ins and outs of how everything works when it comes to your audio. 
And I know for a lot of you guys, you may not care about the ins and outs and you may not be an audio nerd like myself here. So you might just want something that's gonna make it sound good, but doesn't require a lot of work. And the Waves plugins are gonna be able to do that for you. So we'll talk more about them in the future. A big thank you for the Waves for letting me try this out and share it with you guys. Again, hit that link up in the description below if you're interested in checking it out or making a purchase. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. No, but seriously, I mean, this plugin is awesome. And I can't be more excited that Waves plugins actually work in Resolve because I love music, I'm a music guy, love mixing. You might've seen some pictures I posted in, you know, recently, last weekend I was uh, mixing, last weekend before this video was posted, was mixing uh, up in my church and stuff, love mixing, it's a lot of fun. And when it comes to audio stuff, the Waves plugins are, you know, they're huge. They are high quality, top notch. A lot of famous mixers have created stuff on there and uh, really just check them out. I just think they're awesome products and I wanna bring you guys awesome products, things that I use that are just gonna make your videos awesome and make your audio awesome. Loves me some good audio, you know what I'm saying? All right, we'll see you in the next one, guys.